Words are like seeds which take roots in our hearts and minds to deepen our understanding. We teachers imbibe and impart the qualities of creativity in thoughts, passion in action and inspirational words to ignite the hearts of Christites for the holistic upliftment of the society. Dear students and parents, during the tough times of global pandemic spreading the hues of hopes and knowledge, we proudly present before you the brainy bunch, Little Genius. Introducing today's exuberant brainy bunch lineup. Nelsita, Nia, Shreya, Melora and Ryan from grade 3 who will be summarizing the poem My Mother and thereafter will be sharing two incidents where they felt their mother's unconditional love and compassion. Diona and Shiona from grade 4 will be telling us more about the human digestive system. So let's sit back and witness the brainy journey. Hello everyone, myself Melston Oil Borges would like to give you a brief summary of the poem My Mother and I would love to introduce the great poet. Successful poetic family. She was born in Islington, London in 1782. She is best for her verses for children. This poem, My Mother, expresses the natural devotion between a mother and her child. The poetess recalls her childhood in more simple words. When she was a little child, Mother took care of her perfectly. When she would sleep in her cradle, her mother would sit beside the cradle and watch her loving. Her mother taught her how to play and always understood when she couldn't speak. Whenever she fell, her mother lifted her up, kissed on her forehead and told a story to soothe her. Of her. 
I love my mother so much. Thank you. Hello everybody. I am Nia Vinod. The standard A is going to summarize the poem My Mother written by Ann Taylor. The poem expresses about the natural love between her mother and her child. The poet is recall when she was a child her mother took care of her perfectly. When she slept in the cradle, her mother sat near the cradle and watched her lovingly. Her mother also taught her how to speak, read, write, walk, and play. The poet says that mother's love is endless. She also promised that she will take care of her mother when her mother becomes old. One of the instances I felt my mother's deep love towards me on my fifth birthday. My mother was not well. That day. I went to school sad mood because I would not be able to celebrate my birthday. But when I came back, my mother had made all the preparations of my birthday, even though she was not well. That day, I realized that my mother could could understand and know the feelings of my mind. I also promised that I would take care of her with my love and affection from my heart. Thank you. Was her mother in this poem? The poem says that whenever she went to sleep, her mother would come close to her and watch her sleep lovingly. Her mother used to clean and dress her with nice clothes and taught her how to read, write, speak, play, and pray. The moments in my life when I felt my mother's love is when I was sick. My mother used to take care of me by giving me medicine and by feeding me food. Also, whenever I was here, my mother would take me in her loving arms and make me feel safe. Thank you. Good morning. I am Raya Lidia Joseph, studying in third standard from Trai School. Here to recite the poem, My Mother by Anne Taylor. Before going to the poem, I would like to talk about my mother and why she is so special to me. My mother is an ordinary woman. Whether day or night, she was always there for me. No matter what the condition is, I love her not because she is my mother. I respect her because she has taken care of me when I was not able to speak. She taught me. walk speak and take care of myself my mother encouraged me to improve my all round skills and studies she motivated me to try again and again till i get success in it now let me come to the poem the poem says that there is no end to mother's love the poem expressing its second stanza when pain and sickness made me cry who cares upon my heavy heart and then for fear that i should die the poem is an eternal bond between a child and her mother in the poem we see how a mother taught her child to play and always understood the baby when she couldn't speak and lifted her child when she felt it kissed her forehead and told the story to soothe her mother is the real bliss of all my day to the mankind. Let me conclude every mother is special for her children. She is a great teacher, a lovely friend, a strict parent. Not just for my mother, but for every mother out there who lives her life with her family. Deserves praiseworthy applause. Thank you. So dear parents and students how many of you have really appreciated and showed gratitude towards the unconditional affection and love of your mother Good morning everyone I am Diona I am st- 
studying in food standard A section. Today I am going to explain about digestive system in human body. Digestion is a process in which complex food material is broken down into simpler substances. Digestion of food takes place in the alimentary canal which is a long tube extending from the mouth to the anus. The different parts of alimentary canal are buccal cavity, food pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. The two glands namely liver and pancreas also help in digestion. The food is taken into the mouth, it is chewed and mixed with saliva in the buccal cavity. The food then goes to the food pipe and it is slowly pushed to a bag like structure called stomach. The food then goes to a highly colic tube called small intestine. Small intestine receives the secretions from the liver and the pancreas. The liver secretes the bile juice while the pancreas secretes the pancreatic juice. The undigested food is passed through the large intestine. The digested food is passed through the blood vessels. The large intestine absorbs the excess of water and salts. And the undigested waste is passed out of the body through the anus. Thank you. Hello all, I am Shiona of grade 4 from Christ School Kengari Campus. Today, I am going to explain you all about the organs of digestive system and the process of digestion. The digestive system has many organs joined one after another. These include the mouth, foot pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. Now, I am going to explain you the process of digestion. The digestive system helps us in digesting the food we eat. The digestion starts from the mouth. The process of taking in the food is called ingestion. The food passes through the mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. In this process, food is broken down into smaller substances. The smaller substances and water is absorbed by the wall of the intestine. The remaining waste is stored for some time and passes out from our body through the anus. This process of passing out the solid waste from our body is called excretion. Thank you. We hope these thoughtful words of children were indeed beneficial for all of us. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and share. Thank you.